Tips and Tricks 3. Some of these are glitches and may or may not be patched in the future. With that said, let's get started. Is that stamina bar always running out on you? Here's a glitch that will allow you to run forever. If you hold down on the D-pad to whistle and spam the B button while moving, Link will travel at running speed without depleting his stamina meter. When I do this, I usually have to crab claw with my left hand and control the direction Link moves with the camera. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of running normally and using the glitch. This isn't really a glitch, it's more of using the game's geometry to your advantage. Link can stand and walk on angles that the game usually intends you to climb. If you let go, but keep walking forward, Link will regain some stamina. Just keep repeating the process where you can, and you'll be able to climb for much longer than usual. This is helpful if you lack the paraglider, whether it be because you're just starting out or you ran out of stamina. While falling, you'll want to get Link to be readying a weapon to throw. And just before you make contact with the ground, throw the weapon, then immediately unequip that weapon, and Link will sustain no fall damage. This glitch is useful if you want to travel at top speed. Make sure you have a shield and a bow equipped. While riding your horse, use up all of your stamina. Now hold ZL, then ZR. Press X to jump and press A immediately after to remount your horse. The stamina meter will look depleted, but you can use it as if it was full. This glitch can be hard to do, but with a little practice you'll be traveling faster than ever. Ha! Ha! 
Lionels are my favorite enemy to fight in this game. Even though I know how to fight them, they can still best me in combat. Here's some tricks to aid you in battle. Perfect dodges are probably the most effective way of fighting a Lionel. A perfect dodge will allow for a flurry rush. String a few of these together and you'll be taking Lionels down like nothing. A more intricate way of fighting them is getting a headshot with your bow. I recommend waiting for when they shoot fire. Jump into the updraft their fire creates and glide up. Pull out your bow and time will slow down allowing for better aim. Once you get the headshot, it will be stunned. At this point you can mount the lino. You'll be able to get 5 free hits before it kicks you off, but you can pull out your bow just as it kicks you off to get some free shots in. Hopefully with these tips, fighting Lionels will be more fun. Dinral, one of three wyvern-like creatures in Hyrule. You can't ride this one either. I tried. You can find Dinral roaming the skies of Hyrule, and you can harvest some of its parts. Depending on where you hit Dinral will decide what it drops. If you hit its horn, its fang, or claw, it will drop a bit of what you hit, respectively. Hit anywhere else and you'll get a scale. These parts are very valuable. Here's how to farm for them. Before we farm, I suggest you bring the following things. Wood. Flint. A sword, to start the fire. A bow, preferably one that zooms and shoots far, such as a golden bow, but any bow will work. And arrows, as many as you think you will need. Now that you have all that, let's get started. Travel to this location in the Elden Mountains. Once there, build a fire and sit by it until night. It will now be 9 p.m. Wait until it becomes 11.50 p.m. Save your game. When you resume, you'll want to watch up in the sky for Dinral to appear. If Dinral does not appear, just reload your save. Wait for Dinral to get close. When close, jump off and glide towards Dinral until you feel comfortable. Don't worry about your stamina too much. If you put your glider away and then bring it back out again, as long as you catch the updraft Dinral creates, your stamina will be replenished. Now all you have to do is take aim at the part of the body you desire and shoot. Once you've collected the part, go back to your fire and do it again.
Well, that about does it for this video. Did you learn anything new? I hope that at the very least you found it entertaining. If you liked the video, hit that like button, leave a comment, and maybe even subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.